Our offering today is for uh, the church library, which is a great offering to give to. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, during normal times, the church library has available for us all kinds of wonderful books, uh, not only fiction for us to read, uh, Christian fiction for us to read, uh, but also Bible study material for individuals or for small groups. Uh, and uh, many other resources about the history of the church and so on. And uh, so please uh, consider your giving and give uh, cheerfully to the church uh, library or uh, to the church budget or both. And uh, let us come before the Lord in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much for bringing us together again. We are so grateful for that. Uh, regardless of where we are in this world. Lord, we pray that you will guide us as we come to the scriptures uh, again in a few moments and look at the message that you have for us in the sermon today. Lord, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be pleasing in your sight. And may that be true for all of us as well. May what we hear strengthen us for the week ahead and may it feed us and may we grow in the knowledge of you. Lord, we pray too for our church library. We thank you so much for the volunteers who run the church library. We thank you so much that it can be such a great resource to us during uh, normal times. Lord, we pray that soon, someday soon, we will be able indeed to enjoy our church library uh, again and to enjoy one another's company face to face in church services Lord, we pray uh, for we pray for our whole congregation. But Lord, we not only pray for our congregation; we pray for all of the congregations of this area. Uh, we pray for all of the congregations in Canada. We pray for all of the congregations throughout the world who are gathering together in some form to praise Your name. We pray that You will be blessed and encouraged. Well, not encouraged, but that You will be blessed truthfully by what you hear, that it will be a pleasing aroma to you. Father, we pray as well for this world again. We pray uh, locally here for Kingston as they continue to battle uh, the, the recent outbreak there. We pray that you will be with us uh, in, this, in this area. We pray that you will be with uh, the Conservative Party of Canada as they seek to choose a new leader. Uh, Lord, we know that, uh, we know that, uh, yeah, we don't advocate political parties or anything like that, uh, but nonetheless, we do pray very much that always uh, your choice for leaders would be chosen. And so, uh, if any party is having a leadership, uh, a leadership race, we pray for them, and no less so, of course, for the Conservative Party. We pray also for our government leaders who are already in office in various ways. We pray that you will guide them. Lord, we pray that you will give them integrity. Uh, Lord, that you will give them humility, that you will make them truly uh, ministers. And for all of those who are ministering to the people of Canada, uh, for all of them, we are so grateful. Uh, we know that uh, politicians, no less than anybody else, uh, are not perfect, uh, but we uphold them for uh, before your throne. Lord, we pray this also for our local town councillors and our mayor. Lord, for uh, our administrative staff. We pray this also for our local businesses. We pray this also for all of those in, in our town who are providing leadership in some way, shape, or form. We pray that you would guide them and draw them always closer to yourself. Father, we pray that not only for leaders, uh, whatever that may be in our community, but also for all the people of our community. Lord, we pray for those who are struggling without work. We pray for those who are struggling with uh, not enough work. We pray for those who are struggling um, with too much work. Lord, we ask that you would just uh, you would just pour out your mercy upon all of those people. We thank you so very much 
for the rain that we received just in this area. We are so grateful for that. Uh, we know, oh God, that there are many other areas in, in eastern Ontario where they are still very much hurting for rain, and we ask that you would bless them with the rain that they need. Lord, we pray that you would continue uh, to be with our teachers, uh, not only from Heritage Community Christian School, uh, but also from Pineview and, and ADHS and all of the local public and Catholic schools. Lord, we pray that you would be with our public and Catholic school board leaders. Lord, we ask that you would give them wisdom as they consider what the fall might look like, uh, Lord, and, and that you would give us all patience. Lord, we pray, too, that you will be with uh, the ministry leaders of our congregation. Lord, we don't know what September will look like. Uh, we don't know whether we will be able to start up uh, gems and cadets and youth and so on in the way that we traditionally have. Uh, and so we pray for the leaders of those uh, ministries as they consider what options there might be ways in which they could possibly uh, they could possibly minister, we can possibly minister the, to the community around us. Lord, we pray as well uh, for not only our children's ministries, of course, but our adult ministries as well, our men's ministry and our uh, ladies' coffee break and so on. We ask that you would be with those uh, groups as they too consider what the fall may look like. Also, Lord, we, we lay before you all the folks in our congregation who are pregnant. Uh, we thank you for their pregnancies, and we just ask that you would bless them and keep them safe. For those with young families, Lord, we pray that you would help them and guide them as they seek to raise their children in the way of the Lord. Father, we pray, too, for all of those in our congregation always. Who are struggling with uh, health, whether it be uh, physical or mental or spiritual, uh, Lord, we just we just pray that you would wrap your arms around them, that you would protect them, that you would bring healing into their lives, and that we would be a, a significant part of that. That we would bring comfort, that we would bring healing in your name, that we would bring peace and love. Lord, we pray all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen.